In this module, we will talk about the nature and characteristics of uh, casework. Uh, uh, the may, uh, the uh, an important characteristic of social casework intervention is that the the relationship between the client and the case worker arise out of the shared and emotional char emotionally charged situation which means that when the case worker uh, involves the client in the whole social case work process from the beginning till the end and the client feels herself himself as a part of the situation and uh, tries uh, to uh, participate in the whole process and uh, doesn't uh, develop the feeling of alienation. So uh, he or she is uh, uh, emotionally um, uh, active and uh, uh, feeling uh, emotionally the part of the whole process. Um, and similarly, another characteristic of casework uh, is that this relationship contains in the elements of uh, acceptance, expectation, support, and stimulation. Like all other human relationships, it is important that, uh, mm, uh, it is important that every uh, human being sh uh, should develop the feeling of uh, mutual respect. So when a, a client comes to a caseworker, the caseworker accepts the client as, uh, 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 as uh, a respectable uh, human being and the dignity and worth of the individual is not spoiled in, in the whole process of social case work. So uh, the, uh, the element of acceptance is a two-way process. The client is accepted by the worker uh, as a whole unit and similarly the, uh, the case worker also tries to be accepted by the client. And uh, this acceptance depends upon uh, the mutual uh, respectable relationship. And the client accepts the uh, 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 caseworker as, uh, uh, as a supportive hand and the caseworker accepts the client without any biases, any prejudice and uh, without giving and without passing the judgments. And uh, so in this uh, uh, two-way process of mutual respect and acceptance, uh, uh, it is very natural that uh, both of them develop a level of, certain level of expectation. And uh, uh, the caseworker tries to provide a supportive environment for the client. Uh, in which the client's energies are stimulated to find out the solution of the problem. Another uh, characteristic of casework is uh, that the client and casework relationship is interdependent, which means that uh, uh, the relationship which exists between the caseworker and the client is not uh, is is interdependent. It is not totally depend uh, independent because. And the caseworker uh, tries to seek help for the client from the other social welfare agencies and uh, tries to create uh, a, a connection between the client and the welfare rendering uh, services and the service provide, uh, providers of the welfare institutions. So uh, uh, it is said that the client and caseworker relationship is not... Uh, uh, independent. It is interdependent with other social uh, factors of the society and with other social welfare institutions and uh, uh, with a lot of other uh, uh, societal conditions. And another characteristic of uh, social casework is this, that casework relationship may have several therapeutic values like psychological counseling, behavioral therapy, and uh, career counseling, etc., uh, uh, to understand the human behavior and the personality of uh, uh, the uh, client, a caseworker has to adopt and has to use uh, and a lot of therapeutic values to, uh, to provide the treatment to the client to solve uh, his or her problem. 
uh, and uh, because an other major important characteristic of casework is to create the circumstances uh, for the better adjustment within the society. Uh, the philosophy lying behind the casework intervention is to create all those uh, social circumstances in which an individual who is facing certain uh, certain uh, problem in the society can be adjusted within the society in a better way. Um, uh, and this is done uh, through the develop developing the personality of uh, the individual, developing the personality of the client. This is not possible that the caseworker can do it independently because until and unless the personality of the uh, of the client is developed and the client should be able to resolve his or her problems. Uh, uh, so this is the basic uh, philosophy of social casework uh, method uh, to, uh, to develop the personality of the uh, client in the whole process of casework. And uh, this is uh, done through the capacity building uh, of uh, the client while using the different th therapies of uh, human behavior and uh, the, uh, by understanding the human personality. Uh, and so the capacity building of the client is done in the social casework intervention. Uh, and uh, the unique characteristic of uh, uh, the relationship which exists between the client and the casework uh, is that this relationship needs outside help because the case worker provides the help to the client with the help of welfare agency and under the umbrella of welfare agency and, uh, and the other social welfare institutions which are existing uh, in the society.